Why do so many people have anxiety about mathematics? You can go into any classroom and mention mathematics, and you're going to see a variety of negative reactions. People are going to be rolling their eyes, looking at their floor. Their body language is going to tighten up. I think I see some of that happening right now. Except for the few of us who have now just stood up in their chairs as a little bit more to show that we're ready to show off our math skills. I also see some of that happening right now. <laughs> now let me take you back in time. Take you back to high school, to middle school, and yes, all the way to elementary school. Somewhere in some teacher's class, you were beginning to develop an idea about your mathematical abilities. Either you were a marvel at math, loved and praised by your math teacher, or you were just frightened off by those negative comments your teacher made. Perhaps you were made to feel that your inability to do math was encoded in your DNA. You were doomed to fail, never to do well in this subject again. I was one of those students. And this was me. This is how I felt, preparing to fail in every math class. Whatever message we received, we carried it with us to our math classes and performed as expected, either marvelously or terribly. These teachers had a fixed mindset, and we learned to have one too. Clearly, they made a mark on us. Now, for those of you that are still stuck with a fixed mindset, we're going to make a mark on you tonight. We believe everybody can do mathematics. Break free from your fixed mindset, and let's make a change. Now, before we begin, we're going to say something that teachers never say to their students. Are you ready? Take your mobiles out. Everybody take your mobiles out right now, because we're going to do some activities. And we need a volunteer from the audience. And <laughs> yes. OK, please come forward. OK, everybody has their mobiles out. I don't see them all out. Good. Hello. Thank you for volunteering. Oh, you got your mobile. Good. What's your name? Abdul Mohsen. Abdul Mohsen, OK. Hi, Abdul Mohsen. Good to have you on stage with us. And uh, I can see you have your mobile phone, and I guess all of you are busy on your mobile phone. So we need to take a break from that, and I want all of you to open the calculator app on your mobiles. And I want you to clear the screen in case you've done some calculations before you came in here. And we're going to begin our first activity with on that? Yeah. the okay. 10 digits that we know in math, or the 10 digits that we see on our calculator. Okay, are you ready, Mohsen? Is it uh, from uh, 1 through 9 or 0 with the through Oh, that was a smart question. But let's see what you think it is. So let's start multiplying all the 10 digits, starting from 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. And you know the rest. The digits are there on your calculator. You just start multiplying them all. So 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. And you go on till you're done with all the digits that are displayed there. Are you ready, Mohsen? Yeah. Great. Now, when you press the equal to button, oh, you get an answer. Mohsen gets the answer. And the answer is supposed to be zero. zero. Did you all get zero? Well, for those of you who did not get it, you forgot Mr. Zero. <laughs> yeah, you can't forget that's one of the digits, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Here's another activity. I'd like you to clear your screen one more time, okay? And I want you to think of a four-digit number, okay? For example, one, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be this four-digit number, but any four-digit number. Please enter that into your calculator. And then enter it a second time. So now you see that four-digit number twice. How are we doing, Mosin? Yeah. Good, OK. Now, divide this number on your screen by your original four-digit number. Are you doing it? Yeah. You got yeah, it? Me too. OK. 
Then divide one more time by 137. Now, no matter what four-digit number you started out with, we all should have the same thing. Mosin, what did you get? 73. 73. Did you get 73? Yes, aha, there you go. And that, that, like I said, that will work with any four-digit number. Now, how about doing another activity, not with digits, but with our mobile numbers? Are you ready? Oh, I can see what's the thought in your mind. I don't recollect my mobile number. Yeah. Hmm. Do you recollect your mobile number, Mohsen? <laughs> Let's take five seconds to recollect what our own mobile numbers are. And you could play it with your uh, neighbors sitting next to you. You could turn around and ask them to be ready with their mobile numbers. So I hope you all have your mobile numbers ready. Now, before you start, make sure you clear the screen on your calculator and you type in the first three digits of your mobile number. So if it begins with 977 like mine does, you need to type 977 or whatever three digits your mobile number begins with. Multiply these three digits with 400. Yes. Multiply again by 250. You have a 10 million digit answer on your calculator screen. To this answer, you add the last five digits of your mobile number. Last five digits. The last five digits, yes. Now you're going to be like, which? Yeah. yeah. So take five seconds, get the last five digits, and add it to this answer. Okay. Add the last five digits to this answer. Uh, minus six, two, four, two, five. Okay. Do you number. see what you get on your screen? I got my number. Whoa. You got your number. Oh. So did I. And you need to verify if it's your number. If you played it with your neighbor, turn around and ask them, is this your number? Wow. <laughs> see, everybody can do math, can't they? Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you to put your mobiles away. I know. Yes. How dare I say that? Put your mobiles away and let's stretch out our fingers. That's right, you don't do that too often, do you? And have you ever looked at your hands, by the way? Let's take a good look at our hands. Uh, you'll notice that your fingers are divided into three sections. Do you see that? Except for your thumbs. Those thumbs are divided in what looks like two sections. And we're not going to use them today, but we're going to do some mathematics with our fingers. Okay, so I'm going to fold them over. And we're going to learn to multiply by threes using our fingers. Ready? So suppose I want to multiply three times five. I'm going to hold up five fingers. Can you count with me how many sections we see now on our fingers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. So 3 times 5 is 15. <laughs> no need for calculators now, right? Uh, you don't have to even load your times tables anymore. Now, Mosin, we're just going to do it one more time to make sure it's right. So I'm going to ask you to hold up two fingers because we're going to do 3 times 2. Oh, that's good. No. Oh. <laughs> How many sections do we see on your fingers? Six. 6. So 3 times 2 is 6. Are we having fun? Oh, I see a lot more smiles than what we started out with. We hope we've convinced all of you that everyone can do some kind of math. And this is what some teachers with a progressive mindset did years back when I was preparing to fail. And if I am here today, it's because of those wonderful teachers who believed and who built hope into us, telling us that we can succeed in math. These math activities that we just did show us that math is not as intimidating as it seems. Instead, it provides us with a deeper learning experience. When the right approach, guidance, is provided, math can be fun and can be accessible to you, to you, to you, and you, and all of you. It's time for a change, everyone. We need to break, break free of our fixed mindsets, and we need to help our students to do the same. 
So join us together to make a mark in our students' lives. Help us make a change. Thank you. Thank you, Mosin. Thank you, Mosin.